on today's episode of Kentucky ADV. Don't watch that, Stephanie. You didn't see any of that. Ooh, that set me back. This should be fun. Go time. <laughs> yep, go time it was. Ooh, sharp turn. Oh yeah. Okay, well this was a good choice. I'm glad I came out today. Ooh, fun. Ugh. Gravel, yay! Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bumpy, bumpy. Definitely the road that I wanted to take. <laughs> Denison Ferry Road. All right, gravel. This should be fun. Oh, my visor's getting fogged up because it's cold outside. Well, colder, coldish. You know what time it is? Go time. <laughs> yep, go time it was. Oh, sharp turn. Sharp. Oh, uh, yeah. A little snippy. Slippy slidey. Okay, well, this was a good choice. I'm glad I came out today. And I was able to find some good gravel. A nice little road. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting crash guards. An engine guard, skid plate. At least that'll allow me to get a little bit more goofy out here in the dirt. And not be too concerned. Ooh, run it out a little bit. Ugh, yeah. It's not like I'm super concerned about dropping the bike right now anyway. Because I'm not doing anything very radical. But I'm always looking for more protection. And I'm looking forward to getting my, my luggage, my racks, all that stuff in the back so I can go a little further than just with my backpack maybe do an overnight stay or two in places here in Kentucky and otherwise Ooh, fun Ugh. this is what I was looking for and I have found it Sweet. I did figure out how to download uh, the, the air, bird's eye air, whatever it's called in Garmin Maps for this area. I'm still new to the maps. Oh, Garmin and the whole Garmin infrastructure. So that's always nice to learn something new. Oh, so much fun. So I think the turnaround's up here. I don't know if the ferry still goes, if that's even a thing.
Denison Ferry Day Use Area. Um, no parking at any time. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I like the uh, this area so far. Okay, let's go back and search some more. Ooh, that set me back. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, yeah. Good times. That is exactly what I was wanting to find today so I spared you all the ride here it was basic just highways back roads really not highways but back roads county roads nothing spectacular whoa Ugh. let's do it let's go oh And the suspension just works flawlessly. Soaks up all this stuff. Man, I really hope everything's recording. My voice. I'm really, really, really ready to switch to the DJI action cam. I've been reading and watching a lot of reviews about them. Oh yeah. So that's the route that I want to take. Just replace this GoPro Hero 5. It's it's served its days. It's done what it's needed to do. Well, I would say that I wouldn't trade it for the world, but no, I would. I would totally trade it for a DJI. But nobody wants one of these. I think it'll be a good secondary camera to put anywhere but my helmet. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I can't breathe too much because it fogs up. It fogs me up. So again, I apologize for the lack of content. I just haven't been able to get out. You know, life stuff, work, just life in general. So, you know, that's how it goes. My hands are actually getting a little sweaty on low. <laughs> that's okay though. Man, it's so beautiful out here. I have to come out here in the fall, definitely in the spring. I totally.
definitely came unprepared today for my for my video. I thought, ooh, I should have came up with a script, but I'm just rambling. That's what I usually do. So I hope you like that for now. Um, hope this route has a little bit more gravel because. If I wanted to ride pavement, I could have stayed a lot closer to home. Because once I'm through here, it's another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on the route that I take to get home. Mm, warm. I'll put a link in the description of the video for these if you want to try them out. Uh, I think they're $100 and you can get them. Uh, there, may, there may be a coupon code for... 50% off, believe it or not. That sounds okay to me. I wish I could find better riding closer to home. Living so close to Louisville, Kentucky, or I'm sorry, Louisville, Kentucky, um, there's just really no back roads. No gravel, no dirt roads, at least that I'm aware of, that are close. So I always have to take a trip to go play. I'm not complaining by any means. I don't mind the ride to get to places, but it would be nice to be able to go play closer to home. Is this a church? What is this? Mammoth Cave Baptist Church. This is Mammoth Cave Cemetery. Cool. On the road again! I don't want to go too fast out here because a I don't know the road and b I don't want to get run over by a reindeer <laughs> I know we don't have reindeer here but I don't want to get hit by a deer that would put a bad day that would be a bad day a sad ending to my day oh it's closed off darn it Anyway, while we're riding, let's talk about the motorcycle some more. Um, so much better than my KLR. I know I've said that in previous videos, but I'm just so happy that uh, I was able to find the perfect bike for me. What makes it even more perfect is um, that my wife will be able to ride with me which that was not even an option. Well, I mean, it was an option on the KLR, but it was uh, not comfortable. But this one is much more comfortable for the both of us. I, on the KLR, I would have to stop a couple times during my trips just to stretch my legs. Just because, you know, that seat was awful. But the seat's comfortable. Very nice. Very nice. Super awesome seat. There's really nothing else I would change on this motorcycle. Uh, I think I'm looking forward. I don't really want to spend the money. But I'm looking forward to... Uh, getting new tires uh, to get rid of the, this factory stuff but it's, so far it's not been bad but I haven't been out in any gnarly uh, crazy stuff just dirt roads gravel roads and of course pavement they're really good on pavement but I've had no issues with anything that I've tried Man, what a beautiful day, even though it's a little chilly. I mean, it's not cold, cold, 
um, I figured I would check out these gloves on a colder day, but today it's not bad it's just uh, you know the wind chill when you're riding makes it a little bit colder than it is makes it it's the feels like temperature mm, this is a fun road I like it what they have over here campground okay I'll drive through the campground and see what's up or maybe I won't. Mm, nope. That must, oh, that's the visitor center. Cool, okay. It's the lodge, the lodge at Mammoth Cave. Those cute little railroad cars. They're so tiny. There's the camp store. If you need something for your camping, there's the place to do it. Oh well, I'll keep it on gravel mode for now, in case I hit more gravel. Gravel, yay! We didn't want to go straight because that was paved. This is what we were looking for again. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bumpy, bumpy. Back on to what I was talking about a little bit ago. I don't like to ride so far away from my home base that if something were to happen to me out here it would take forever for somebody that I know back home to come and get me so ooh, this is a little rougher oh, oh. bumpy 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 Just let the bike, let the motorcycle work for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely uh, the route, definitely the road that I wanted to take. Instead of going straight back there. Yep, yep. So I'm very surprised about these gloves. Since they're not motorcycle gloves, they're kind of slippery, especially on the levers. Uh, on the grips, it's okay, but uh, on the levers, they're pretty slippery, so you have to be careful there. But I recommend them for highway use. How many people come out here? I want to just turn around and come back this way. Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. Thank you for having me. Oh, loose gravel. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm sitting down in the gravel. Ooh, we gotta go up. And I'll stand up to go up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't watch that, Stephanie. You didn't see any of that. I guess I also need to get a little bit better, better protection uh, for myself. Like I said, I've just got these boots that I've had for years when I used to ride my cruiser. And uh, I need some armor for my knees, my shins. But I do believe my boots should, uh, whatever boots I get should take care of that. <laughs> oh, sharp lefty. Oh man, it's a normal road. Boo. Well, that was short fun. Mm, do I want to go back that way? Uh, yeah. Nah. Let's see what else we can get into. Welcome back to the road. It's a little wind noise. Hopefully uh, everything's not too loud. I still have the same setup, which I need to do a video of. Because you all have asked about how my uh, how I'm how I'm recording my voice and so forth. get in trouble I would go take one of those gravel paths but those are for people they'd be so much fun on the bike I don't want to get in trouble I'm gonna try this again I think this is where I just came from Take two. It's almost two o'clock back at home. It's uh, central time here. So it's 12.43 here, but it's 1.43 at home. Plus an hour and a half, an hour back. Oh boy, I gotta get back because the rain is supposed to start coming soon. I didn't see it until the last moment. Imagine that. Yeah, but I really need to get home because of the rain. I don't want to get caught in the rain being chilly and uh, wet. Does not make for a fun ride. Not looking forward to that kind of uh, situation. So up here is a ferry, and I believe this one is uh, always going, except for now it's, it's closed, but during normal times it uh, ferries you across. How cool. Neat. Man, I wish those trails were open to motorcycles.
All right, let's go. We're doing this one again because it was fun. Bet those walkers came this way. Definitely don't want to be too crazy when they're out here. Mm, quick shifter is so awesome. Don't even have to worry about thinking about shifting. You just shift. Alright, so let's talk a little bit more about this bike. I know I've said hundred times that this is so much better than my KLR and it is um, if I would have uh, <laughs> I'm glad I got waited I'm glad I got the KLR and then waited uh, I didn't really have a choice uh, the wife said that the uh, KLR was the last or was the motorcycle that I was gonna live with <laughs> um, until she figured out that she can't really ride on it. It's not comfortable. And uh, I started reading reviews on this thing. <laughs> yeah! Started reading reviews on the V-Strom 800 and I was intrigued. I was talking to them. I was talking to my wife about it and uh, She graciously allowed me to go look at one and then give me the terms that she would accept for me to buy one. And uh, the rest is history. The suspension setup is good enough for me right now. It's fully adjustable and I've actually been reading up on uh, suspension and, and tuning the suspension uh, not specifically on this bike but just in general uh, the suspension geometry and all that techy stuff but I don't I don't feel the need to mess with it just yet because it does everything I need right now like I said I'm not doing oh big rock I'm not doing anything gnarly just silly stuff like this gravel roads and it soaks up everything very nicely I couldn't be happier oh that was rough oh yeah oh. <laughs> Calm down. There is no calming down. No one ever calmed down by being told to calm, be, be calm to calm down. What? No one has ever calmed down by being told to calm down. Not even when it's yourself telling you to calm down. <laughs> so one thing I don't like about how I have my Garmin currently mounted is it hides the view of half of my uh, gauge up here it's not an awful thing I can deal with it but I kind of needed it or thought I needed it there but uh, just to keep the phone available anyway I think that's it for today 
thanks for stopping by. Uh, as always, life is an adventure, so never stop exploring. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll include links to the gloves below in the description if you would like to check them out. They've worked well. And even with the rough stuff, I was able to stay gripped pretty good. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, I will be back soon.